A visit to Christopher Oakley's office is a feast for the imagination. Movie characters, props, and posters abound. Judging from the colorful collection of the former animator for Disney and other studios, you'd think that art and Hollywood and entertainment are Oakley's passions. That is, until you spot this photo. That's Oakley, not Honest Abe. Consequently, I got lots of things with Lincoln on them throughout the years. There's a claymation Lincoln on the windowsill, right next to molds of the 16th president's hands. And there's a copy of a life mask of the president on the desk, next to a Lincoln coffee cup. You get the idea. Uh, I was sitting in my kindergarten class, and uh, back then, all, every classroom had photographs or paintings of uh, presidents on the wall, and usually had Lincoln and w George Washington on every wall in, in that era. And I remember distinctly sitting in my little desk, uh, looking up at that painting of Lincoln. And I have no idea where this thought came from, but I had the thought, I knew him, and he was a nice man. And the fascination was on. That partly explains why the animator turned professor of new media at UNC Asheville has been collaborating with his students on the Virtual Lincoln Project. This is what Abe will look like. It would be a great way to, to introduce the speech to children. It's an ambitious effort to animate the Gettysburg Address. That meant we had to do an enormous amount of research uh, and look at the historical record, look at the written record, look at uh, the photographic record of what happened at that time. Only six photos of the day are known to exist. To help research faces in the crowd for the virtual Lincoln Project, Oakley studied this stereoscope image taken by photographer Alexander Gardner. Stereoscope photography was the rage at the time. To look at the pictures, you used a viewer like this, and essentially it involved taking a picture of the same image at the same time, but with two lenses that were separated just a bit, much like the windows in the viewer here. To look at the picture then, put the photo in the tray and moved it back and forth, and that creation of Two images using two lenses separated just a bit gives you the stereoscope effect. It's two lenses, and, and, but they're on the same camera, going onto the same piece of glass negative. And so you'll have your left eye and you'll have your right eye. A few years ago, an amateur historian stunned the nation by studying this Gardner photograph and identifying this tall figure on horseback with a beard, a stovepipe hat, and saluting the troops as Lincoln. But Oakley was skeptical. He maintained the hair was too long, the beard too full, and it appeared the figure had epaulets on his shoulders. Lincoln was wearing a plain overcoat that day. There is no way this man can be Lincoln. So Oakley wondered if the Library of Congress had ever created a high-resolution image of the left side of Gardner's negative. It turns out it hadn't been scanned. Now notice that there's a difference between these two sides. This side is in terrible shape. It's got cracks. Uh, the, the photographer's varnish on the back is completely cracked and flaking off. This side has better contrast and is not as, as quite as damaged. They said that'll be $73. Um, and I said, OK, <laughs> best $73 I ever spent. Oakley quickly spotted William Seward, Lincoln's Secretary of State. And I thought, wow, there he is. And as you can see, there was this unmistakable, for me, profile of, of Seward. And then he went searching, remembering that accounts of the ceremony put Seward close to Lincoln. There was another Gardner photo taken about 10 minutes after the first. He spotted Seward again. But there's his hair. Here's his hat. But, you know, I'm an animator and I'm, a, I'm trained to, to notice uh, movement and to notice changes. That's what we do. We analyze change and then reproduce it. And I noticed something had changed when I was looking at this photo, not just of Seward looking away, but my eye drifted back and I went, wait, who is this? Because he wasn't in the first He photo. was not in the first photograph. So who is this? And I looked at it and I looked at it and I just said, no way. And I sprang from, I pushed myself away from my desk in my studio. This, again, this is at 3 in the morning. I pushed myself away from the desk. 
I did a little historian happy dance around the, the, <laughs> my studio. I think I went around that studio probably about five times hyperventilating, going, can't be, can't be, can't be. And I said, that's got to be ear, hairline, here's the hat, collar, he's looking down, nose, beard, no mustache. And I thought, oh, God, that, that really just looks like him. Oakley then used his animation skills to copy a portrait taken of Lincoln 11 days earlier. He then superimposed it over the photo. Once we saw that, we became very convinced of what we had found uh, Abraham Lincoln. Take a look on a larger scale. And there you have it overlaid. And you can see now that the hairline matches, the ears match, the beard matches, the little divot here uh, in his cheek where the beard rides up a bit. Is, is visible in the version without it. The, the strong brow, the heavy, uh, the high cheekbones, all are there. So did you ever think when you were doing that, doing your happy dance and everything mm -hmm. else, that, wow, I'm gonna be really shaking things up a little bit? Or? Oh, I do that, yeah, instantly. I thought, as soon as I saw this, I thought, Boy, this is gonna make some controversy. Uh, and and uh, but I was also very excited about it because I'm you know, I have drawn Lincoln, I've sculpted him, I've I've animated him, I've 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 done I know every pore and I've paint I have paint, done paintings. I've I know every pore on this man's face, and every mole, every scar, and and uh, and when I saw that, I just said, that's him. I know it's him. Now, there will be others who will disagree with that, and that's fine. We can have that debate. But at least I think there's the strong possibility that that's him.